Hello and welcome to Canon Coffee Espresso Machines. Today we're going to show you the um, thermal fuses on this Breville 920 XL. So the first fuse is for the coffee boiler is right there. Um, uh, sorry, let me point to it right there. And the second fuse is on the front. Um, can see this this red red cable going to the um, white cover and the fuse is underneath that white cover on the boiler and then um, there's another fuse you try to capture it here The light is not the best. Put a flashlight in there. There it is, right there. So this is for this. That's a thermal safety fuse for the steam boiler. And you can test this uh, by doing a resistance test and checking the ohms. Should have close to zero ohms of resistance. And then. Um, Behind the main board here is, well, maybe I can show it from above. It's really hard to get to this fuse. The only way to really get to it is you can see it right there. So my light is now shining on it. You can see the red wire goes to the white insulator and that's the fourth uh, fuse and the second fuse for the steam boiler this is the steam boiler uh, this is the steam boiler right here this is the coffee boiler right here and um, yeah you have to take this guy all apart as I've done so that I could properly test the fuse and then once you take it all apart you can lift it up and then um, go from underneath and get in there and uh, test the fuse. Um, I haven't taken this one all the way out because you really do have to take a lot of hoses and wires off. Um, but in this particular case, all the fuses tested good, so there was no reason to go any further. Um, and uh, unfortunately on this one, the I keep getting error too which they say is the thermal fuses, but since the thermal fuses are all good, then it has to be the main board is bad. And I have not been able to find any more main boards um, sold online. But if anybody knows of a place that sells them, please let me know and, um, and comment below. Also, if you happen to know, if you're getting air or two, um, if there's a component on the bo board that is bad, that causes error too, I'd also be interested to know that, because uh, I could certainly um, desolder something and put a new component in. But um, without, without a schematic, it's really hard for me to... I'm not great at micro-level troubleshooting, and without a schematic, it's almost impossible for me to troubleshoot this board other than looking at it and physically um, it looks great you know there's no burning or anything on it so and I've checked some of the th um, often sometimes some of the resistors will go bad um, on sometimes some of the resistors will go bad on this and uh, then I'll um, Replace, I have replaced resistors and gotten these boards to work, but the resistors all seem good on this one. So thank you for watching with Canon Coffee. Please like our videos below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. 